Apple Intelligence. Um, this is just to get back on the transparency on lending to developing world nations, especially China. This was a major issue of contention at the IMF World Bank. Um, do you think the World Bank and the IMF could do a one-stop program so all, since the uh, United States is a 25% shareholders and all the shareholders that we could have a one-stop so all these documents could be put in one place for review by both the IMF and the World Bank? Sir, thank you. Just with that information. That, yeah, yeah. That we're talking about Belt Road Initiative, yeah. In a repository of either the World Bank or. Oh, both, I both, yeah. So, or you phrased it differently. And the gentleman had, is that a camera? On? Yeah, I'm Google Glass, yeah, Gerald. Uh, uh, with regard to this gentleman, so um, there is an effort, or and uh, uh, IIF is uh, involved in how do you make public information that you that you uh, find on debt, and that turns out to have challenges depending on what type of debt. So the initiative I was talking about on transparency is to have governments themselves uh, be transparent in the contracts that they are entering into. Rather than their own. I want to turn it over, but maybe one last topic that I want to uh, get your view on is an issue that you have spoken out on a lot in the last few months, and that is the growing problem of debt, and particularly debt in, in low-income countries, where I think about half of low-income countries now are sort of either in or at high risk of debt distress. Um, and sort of the issue of the lack of transparency associated with the debt numbers. And, and uh, for example, you know, after Tim Adams is sitting in the front row here, and, and you know, one of the things that the IIF has been doing for the last 18 months is sort of coming up with this voluntary uh, disclosure code for at least the banks who lend to sovereigns. And you, know, you can argue that it's a small part of the puzzle or it's not complete and it's voluntary, but at least it sort of moves that forward. I want to get a little bit your sense of both the bigger issue and also how we can advance this transparency agenda. I mean, will it make a difference? How could we do it? Because from where I sit, I sort of see a lot of conversation on it, but 18 months later, I don't feel any closer to it being implemented than I did then. Great, great, great point. Uh, let me start uh, a little back. Global growth slowing. So investment has been weak in developing countries, and so it's uh, the and so the challenge is how do you how do you create an environment where investment can occur more readily, and that brings you to the lack of transparency in the debt. So it's not clear whether it's the amount of the debt or the the uh, uncertainty about what the terms are. So to as as we think about it from a goal of having people be able to choose their leaders or understand what their government is doing. A, a first principle would be that governments, when they enter into contracts, debt, debt contracts, that there's some disclosure of what's the interest rate, how many years do we have to pay it back, what other things were done on the side, meaning did we agree to ship all of our natural resources for the next 10 years, um, and what did we get for it, for the debt, meaning what is the quality of the project that's being done. And because part of the problem is um, in difficult countries, or in really in all countries, it's hard to know what a good investment is. Uh, so you, you, you and, and that, that's in across all sorts of fields, um, meaning, are railroads a good investment? Are roads a good investment? How how much should they cost? Are more schools versus more textbooks? And on down the whole list of uh, of things that you can think about. And so I, we can't decide that. It, what we can do, I think, as a principle, is say that there should be some transparency about what the what the terms are. And so now to your point of doesn't seem like any progress. So I started this hard at uh, Treasury. We uh, uh, established, I think, the idea that this is really an important direction. At the World Bank, what, what we are trying to do is, uh, uh, is 
Well, we, we struggled with this because the more you dig into it, the more complexity comes up. There's the issue of what's the collateral, what liens are involved. Were any uh, in in sort of and a little known uh, aspect of this, the World Bank has made loans to lots of countries. They uh, they usually have a negative pledge clause, meaning the country is not supposed to pledge its assets to somebody else because that undercuts the, uh, their ability to repay. Well, that hasn't been uh, honored in, in, in a few cases we don't, and so, uh, so you dig into it and it gets more. And I could do quite a few more uh, aspects of the complexity of this. So what I said was, look, just take some countries and tell me all you know about the debt. So we're working on some pilot countries where we are trying to build from the bottom. You might say, how long can that take? Well, it ends up taking three, four, five months in, in because it involves, the, because the contracts are really complicated. And well, another aspect I didn't mention, some lenders have been writing into their contracts non-disclosure clauses, even in contracts with governments. So the government says, I'm prohibited from telling you what the, what the debt is that I've got, um, that, or that, I mean, that I've borrowed. Well, that then does not create an attractive environment for new investment to come in. So how can we work on organizing that? So what we're doing is trying to, uh, trying to understand that, that in those countries that really want to help move that forward. And with that information, then we'll better understand the types of debt. Um, this is a fast moving target because as soon as you find out a given kind of term in a contract, then clever financiers think up another kind way of, of doing it. So, so you're trying to move quickly to get more transparency in the debt so that the projects can have better quality. And of course, you could argue that in some of the countries, the Ministry of Finance or the Central Debt Office